much, uh, Brad. Uh, well, first of all, let's have a big hand here for Brad Doty, ladies and gentlemen. This is a years long. Once this night ends, the uh, next year starts. And uh, we'd just like to thank you for coming on out. And uh, what a great night of racing, Brad. Are you guys having some fun? I know I am. Again, every year I say this, I don't want to bore you guys. I know we want to go racing, but thank you all so much, you, all you fans. It's your hard-earned money to come to, to get this event to what it is. I've got to thank Chuck Bills, Ohio Logistics, uh, Racing Optics, all our sponsors. We've got CNR Racing, Cali's Performance Products, and UNOH. Without all their help, all you guys here, the fans supporting this event, it wouldn't happen. So from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate everybody. Thank you so much. All right, Brad, I, gotta, I, gotta, I heard a rumor uh, earlier today that, of course, you had the press conference yesterday, and the rumor I heard you were so nervous about this weather, you took off and went home. <laughs> no, I didn't go home, but I tell you what, I get pretty nervous, and we, we got so lucky. I'm, I'm sure everybody saw that big cloud, and it was a massive that went south of us, and we are so fortunate that uh, I'm, I couldn't be any happier. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give a big hand for Brad Doty, and let's get up on our feet because we're going feature racing. <laughs> there is some dirt in that trophy. Paul, I asked you in the dash what it was going to take to get a win here tonight. You said 40 good laps, and you put together 40 good laps. What does it mean to win the Brad Doty Classic? i tell you what, it took me a little bit to uh, collect my thoughts before I got out of this race car because uh, just... This just means the world to me. I mean, Brad Doty, like I said, is, is my hero. And uh, I've come here many times and never been able to get a win. And, uh, I mean, to, I mean, it's just a normal race, but it's the Brad Doty Classic. And this means, uh, this, is, this takes every win I've ever won away, and, and this is right up top. Uh, I just got to thank uh, Chad and Jen Clemens, everybody at CJB Motorsports, Barry. Shane, Scotty, Bears Tree Series, All-Star Performance, uh, Nice Crete and Landis, Kistler Engines, Butler Built, uh, you know, I know I'm forgetting a few, but uh, FK Shocks, man, it's just, uh, Paul Kistler built me a hell of a motor, and it's just, uh, man, I won the Brad Doty Classic. Sammy Swindell was running the top, and you were working the bottom, and I actually, in my notes, had said how fast the top was, and then the cushion went away really quick, and you stayed consistent at the bottom, and that was key to win tonight's race. Yeah, I just, uh, I, was, I was following Sam, and I was just kind of staying with him. I wasn't getting nowhere, and uh, so I said, you know, I saw some lap cars down there, they're getting hard lap, and I just said, what the heck, I'll give it a shot, and uh, the thing stuck, and... Oh man, I just drove off, and then I was a little nervous there towards the end if I would get into lap cars, whether I need to be up top or around the bottom. And but I know if I would have hesitated, Sammy would have pounced on me. And, and uh, man, I just I can't believe this. This is uh, this is the greatest. What does it mean to have your whole family here? Your wife, your son, your daughter, and I know this is one of Jan's last races, and to get a win for her here. Oh, it means the world to me. You know. Uh, I've had a blast this summer. It's sad every time we get to the King's Royal, my wife and kids got to go home, and uh, the damn school gets in the way of things. <laughs> but um, you know, we enjoy our time together. Um, you know, we're we're uh, we're a tight knit family. You know, my, my mom and dad are here tonight. Uh, it just uh, man, I'm chatting Jen here tonight. Uh, you know, he's been on my butt a little bit about winning races, so. Maybe uh, maybe those get us off my ass till at least Friday night. Definitely. Well, congratulations to Paul McMahon, his family, and the whole CJB Motorsports on tonight's win here at Lima Land Motorsports Park. Carrie, another top three. You've been on a roll here lately, but Sammy didn't make it easy on you when you were trying to pass him at the bottom there. He moved down once he saw you coming on the bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah, but he's entitled to do that. We're racing for position. Um, great car. We had a good run. Uh, just... I felt like in the middle stages, there were had opportunities and yellows would keep coming out. But, you know, we had a great run. Um, uh, we had our chance. We didn't take advantage of it. But a great second place. And I just really want to thank our sponsors, American Race and Custom Wheels, and Dan and Wendy here tonight. So it was a good run in front of them guys. And really want to thank um, our boys from Australia here, Pete Gavernich, pretty excited, Jaron and Matt, and a big hello to Bob Gavernich back at home. And a big, big thank you to Des and Murray from Earthex for uh, supporting us for the entire thing of this uh, thing. And, um, you know, it's always, it's always an exciting race at Lima, and I'm sure tonight was no different. Uh, I feel a little disappointed, but we're still uh, really, really pleased with uh, second place run.
Paul McMahon, we saw how emotional he was to win. What are your thoughts on second at the Brad Doty Classic? Uh, I wanted to, be, you know, you want to sell it. You want, you want to be the guy celebrating. There's no doubt about that. But for second place, I mean, we're running great. Uh, we've definitely got nothing to hang our heads about. We're, we're quick, and uh, Tyler is just doing a fantastic job with the car. So is Brandon and Chris. Uh, we've just got a great team, and we're loving life, and uh, looking forward to the Royal. Well, it's definitely showing. Tonight's second place finisher in the 29 American Racing, the Madman, Kerry Madsen. Darren, you started ninth, kept your nose clean, stayed out of trouble. We saw a couple yellows, a couple red flags, and found yourself third place at the end, but you definitely had to work for it. How was your car tonight? <laughs> Uh, car was probably better than the driver, uh, which is a lot of the case most of the time I drive this thing. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the car was good. I just, uh, you know, early in the race when the top was fast, I just uh, probably don't do a good enough job hustling the car and, and uh, running it as hard as I need to up around the fence. And just kind of stuck with the middle and the bottom early, and that wasn't very fast. And then uh, the top finally slowed down, and, and we got going pretty good there at the end. So um, I just need to do a better job trusting my car. Kale and, and Colton and Carver, they do a great job giving me a good car. and, and uh, we started ninth and ran third last year, so uh, it's hard to complain. We're on the front stretch. Uh, you know, all in all, it was a good night. Um, just, uh, you, you know, you want to win. And uh, I just felt like my car was good, and, and uh, the track was just completely different than what we're normally used to, a lot wetter. So um, we'll think about it, and uh, it's a good run for us, and move on to uh, Friday and hopefully get a little better. You're coming off two wins last weekend at Dodge City. Month of Money is starting. You and your team seem to be really clicking it. What have you guys changed? Uh, nothing. You know, just uh, we just show up every race with a, a good attitude and, and know that uh, no matter what happened at the last race, whether or not we ran last or won, that uh, uh, we're going to have a car capable of winning the next one. And um, I think that's, uh, you know, the key. We just, uh, everybody stays focused on what they need to do in, in, on their job. And, and uh, I try to concentrate on driving and doing the best job I can. And, and uh, I know my car is going to be good. So. Uh, we're excited about this weekend. We're excited about how we've been running, but uh, we know how tough it is to win these races, and uh, you know we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. We'll just uh, work hard, come back Friday, and try to win. Uh, I got to thank Great Clips, uh, Sage Fruit, Team SE, Curb Records, uh, Willie Kane's here with Factory Kane Shocks, uh, big part of our team, and I uh, just uh, can't thank all those guys enough for uh, giving us the opportunity to come out here and, and uh, do what we love. Well, congratulations to Darren Pittman and the whole Great Clips team on tonight's third place finish here at Lima Line Motorsports Puck. We'll send it back up to you, Johnny.